What up, guys? It's your girl, Manny Meeks, and I am back with more The Expanse. We're on season four. This is episode two. I think it's Jetsam, like Flotsam and Jetsam. Sure. All I know, I don't know what the exact terminology, like what they're used for. I just know that they're the pets from Ursula. Ursula's pets and the Little Mermaid. That's all I know. But if you're enjoying this reaction series or anything else I got on my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I made you here. Let's be here together. Down below in the description box, I link to my Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Manny Meeks. I know that I have a full link version of my reactions as well as YouTube Clear. And I have been saying this for the past month and a half. I am trying to catch up. The thing is, I edit them and then they sit in purgatory while they get cleared. And it takes forever to get cleared. And by the time they get cleared, it's time for it to be posted on YouTube. But I do, um, I am going to be trying to get back with the early access because I do, you know, miss being ahead of stuff, you know, take a break. I won't have to record every single day. But um, that is over on Patreon. Uh, and also down below in the description box, I have a link to my merch store. So if you want to support me that way, I have t-shirts, hats, mugs, all types of things with original designs. Those are two ways you can monetarily support me. I have my merch store. I have my Patreon friends together but you don't have to support me monetarily you can support me free entirely how how subscribe why the bitch is free it costs zero dollars to subscribe all you got to do is push a button hit a bell that's it i have videos every single day at least one video every single day i'm just saying um but last time on the expanse my baby Naomi finally had her first landfall. It took a whole lot. It took needles and, and things, but she got on the land and yes, but that's, that's jumping ahead. Um, So pretty much they're out there exploring the worlds and the belters who don't have any place to go after the disaster on Ganymede, like they're just out there drifting. They're running out of air. They're running out of food and nobody will let them land. Any well, they can't really land anywhere. Like nobody is giving them the port that they need. So they're like, you know what? Two tears in a bucket going into the ring and that's exactly what they did a whole bunch of them are trying to bypass security some of them are getting killed some of them make it through but the ones that make it through you kind of don't hear from again until they build the signal array that they're doing it's a lot that the belters themselves are doing to help facilitate the exploration of the rings without being allowed to explore them themselves which is kind of crappy and boo-boo and boo -y. um so you have angst from um Oh my gosh, Ashford and the gang, because you know, they're doing all of this and they're like, we agreed to a treaty, but we're getting the shit side of the stick still. And a lot of people aren't okay with that. And then you have people who aren't getting anything at all, busting their way through rings. And you have Earth trying to patrol it to make sure that the, like nobody gets in. And then you have Mars just out there doing their thing. Mars be out here thanging. Um, Bobby's back on Mars. She is working, I guess, in a shipyard. I guess that's, that's the correct term for it. Um, she is no longer in the military and she's just trying to figure out what she's doing over there. She's not happy, but at the at this point, there's nothing she can really do. And then we um, got back in contact with Ara Savala and she is leading shit, being the boss bitch that she is. She's just trying to make sure that what's on the other side of those rings are safe for people to go and explore. And she's just like, listen, Holden, sweetie, baby, cooking, honey, I need you to go check this out because the, um, the belters that made it through, they set it on a planet Elos. They're like, this is my planet. However, um, they saw a picture or a video of what's on the planet and it's proto molecule esque. And they're like, ha, we're going to send our proto moleculist <laughs> you out there to investigate because we need you to investigate. And they also sent a science team, which did not do well upon landing because something like ran up in the bottom of it. It looked like at first I thought it was bullets, like somebody was shooting or some kind of rockets or something, but that was not the case. It looks like there's little active proto molecule that does not like the tension on the planet and is trying to tell y'all to sit the hell down and shut the fuck up. That's just trying to do. So we left off with Holden and the gang touching ground, Naomi being on a planet for the first time and pretty much being thrown in the middle of a situation between the belters and the UN folks, the UN scientists. So let's go ahead and jump into season four, episode two, Jetsam. Oh, start. Okay. So oh. Reach out, reach out, and reach out. Flipping, flipping, flipping. So just get your goddamn monkey. See if something clicks. Uh, hmm. So what do we got 
Is he just in Holden's brain doing that? I'll join you. Stay here. Keep an eye on things. I'll be fine. I don't trust him at all. I didn't trust him in the ship, and I don't trust him now. And I, 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 I with her face 100%. She's like, what, what is that face? What you doing, man? Life on Earth developed using potassium, carbon, and calcium. But it could just as easily have been arsenic, silicon, and iron. To us, this looks like a machine, but on this planet, it could be an organism. She's like, bitch, don't be telling me it's my first time on land. <laughs> Photomolecule tech. If he's active. Yeah, we should test everyone for infection. Well, we're going there anyway. Oh, the swarmers. Oh. Yeah, listen. Tripoli. Is that a UN ship got blowed up? Wow. Well, look at they made it into the ring. Yay. I'm sure the UN will graciously accept their share of the blame. Uh, if they were aware of the incident, they would have told us by now. Unless they're waiting to see if we're honest enough to tell them ourselves, which we must. Mm. I mean. It sends a message that the peace cannot change a century of anger overnight. And that there are belters who still know how to hate. So your hair is giving me uh, back to the future. It appears to be some form of protomolecule tech, and we think we know where they came from. We're heading over with an RCE scientist to investigate. We'll let you know when we find it. Look at her. What's the transmission delay? About six hours. Sometimes I fucking hate being right. It's time, ma'am. Who are you, sir? You're the assistant of assistants. I like your booties. Oh, she's on the Very ship. That's why she doesn't have her flowy to float. I had a good teacher. I love her traveling outfit. <laughs> Hi, sit down. Where did Anne go? I am so happy you're here. I wouldn't have missed it. Is that supposed to be her husband? Who are you? That's cool. It's like a paper airplane. Literally like a paper airplane. I like the things you see better than the ones I do. She's like, I see tomfoolery. That's what I see. I would be like, can I go see her? Is that a thing I can do? <laughs> Yay! Go see her! Go see her. She gonna have somebody come and get you. Wasn't she a kid? Demolition tech third class Roberta W. Draper. I prefer Bobby. Formerly gunnery sergeant for Berta Draper of the Martian Marine Corps. Before that, I was seen to run my basketball team. Dishonorably discharged for repeated acts of insubordination. No, they moved me to power forward. Uh. Yes. There's a lot more to that story, but I'm betting you don't care. If you're asking me if I saw anything, I didn't. I assume they train your special forces types too. Girl, Mars is so like short-sighted. Trained me to snap necks. Having dinner with the UN Secretary General is quite an honor for a Martian dock worker. You seem very fond of Earthers. Like, you guys don't know how to investigate shit. You guys don't know how to investigate anything. Mars, I came back here to willingly face a court martial for Mars. I scrapped those bloody ships every day for Mars. Stupid. All right. I just like they're they're so they're so like one. It's not even one sided. This is just how it's gonna be from now on, right? Do let us know if you learn anything that might be useful in our investigation. Didn't they swap phones? Demolition tech, third class draper. It looked like they swap phones. Damn. <laughs> I love him so much. <laughs> oh, I love him. Oh, how you 
you're driving with your leg like that. Well, technically, it's the other way. But still, that shit hurts to be sitting like that. Hey, Murdy. It's like a blasting cap to you. It's my tree. <laughs> he said yeah. Murdy. Yes, it does. You guys didn't have the main drive on when you came down, did you? No, we did not. I think someone blew up this pad. Oh, God damn it. Was it him? I was just doing this no in Andromeda. The only weird thing was the blasting cap. That's not exactly conclusive. Stay on it. See what develops. Will do. Where are they? Like, is it like, where did they film this? You know how belt is out. If they can't use it, it doesn't exist. Yeah. You've got us totally figured out. I mean, technically, booty butt cheeks. <laughs> Look at all these feety printies. How big is it? If it wasn't for, you know, this might even be fun. Girl, I'd be like, hold it, baby, take this. I'm not carrying. Y'all just put y'all feet in anything. I'm like, listen, we gotta find a way over this. I can't have wet feet. Ma'am, she needs to sit down. She is struggling. Sit in the car. What if that shit opens for Holden? No. What were you expecting? Miller to say something. I have no idea. So did something get rid of it or did it just die out because it ran out of nutrients until it had to rebuild and it starts eating? So, I heard a little rumor that uh, there's a saloon around here. Not much of one. <laughs> yeah, well, I could really use a drink. Mm. He tried it. Mm. I just said the boost is terrible. Looks like we got two new customers. This is Jacob, my husband, and our daughter Thasia. Mm. He's like, damn it! I tried to slide in. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Lee's gonna try it. Is that what they left in? I thought it was more covered. Hmm. Uh, you speak for this camp? Where did you get this? At the pad. Your people blow up that pad deliberately. That's what took down our shuttle. You killed a lot of my people. That's ridiculous. We needed that landing pad to get our lithium into orbit. Did Bugs kill your shuttle? Get the word out. And you have until morning to give me the people that planted the bomb. We will not be intimidated. Either they pay for this, or you all will. Why? Uh, I fucking hate him. He's everything he's in. I hate him, except for when he play something funny one time. He don't like that. Hold there, please. I have an invitation. You've been flagged for additional screening. I'll handle this. She's a personal guest of the Secretary General. Right here. Have a lovely evening. Thank you. Hi, I'm Bobby. <laughs> Bitch! Oh, so you're rude now? Okay, great. You're rude. I hate rudeness. Roberta. Bobby. Please. Who are you? Arjun Avasarala, at your service. I have wanted to meet you for such a long time to thank you in person uh. for saving my Christian's life. And respectfully. If you married Christian, you're a hell of a lot braver than I ever was. 